Hi, my name is Rick O'Brien from Proactive Self Defence. Today we're going to show you for the upcoming intra club tournament, the sumo wrestling, how the points, how it works. So we've got our two competitors, Sensei Jordan and Sensei Anthony. We're going to face off. The first part they do is the bow. Bring their knees up high, touch the floor, knees up high, both hands, and then they grab each other at the shoulders. Now, just for the example, let's go. Start. If Jordan pushes Anthony out, stop. Then the point would go to Jordan, one point. We start, now this time he pulls him backwards. So watch this. So Anthony's used a bit of strategy and Jordan's gone out. So now the score is 1-1. One, one. All right, let's start again. Now this time, if they're wrestling and Anthony falls on one knee, he can still continue, but if he falls on his backside, stop, then Jordan would get the point. So now it is 2-1, okay? Now, this goes for the first person to get five points or to the timer. If the time went now, Jordan would have won by two to one point. Good luck, enter, come up in the Intra Club tournament, a lot of fun. Thanks, guys. Hi, welcome to our Intra Club tournament, the rules for sword sparring. We've got Anthony and Marco, our swordsmen, and Carl and Kemi on the corner judges. So, first thing, uh, we face each other in the rings. Competitors will face the centre ref and bow. Then they face each other and bow. Then they'll bring their swords out. You'll notice that they're both off the red mat, so it's a metre away. Both touching swords. The referee will call by hand commands. Start. The sparring starts. Stop. The judges will do a call. So when I say this, the judges will have their heads down and will score who we thought got the first shot. Judges, call. Okay, so you see I've had a no score, I didn't see it, but these guys, keep your hands up, thanks Carl. Open hand, and Kamal's got the open hand, so the point will go to Anthony, one point. Scores are hits to the arms, legs and body. Let's continue, start. Stop. Judges, call. So again, very clear shot, one point to Marco for the body shot. Start. Judges, call. Clash. You got a clash, a no score, and a foul for a stab. So stabs are illegal, so if it was, we all seen that and we only made penalty point, the point would come over to Anthony. Okay? We'll just continue with a couple other shots. Let's go start. Stop. Judges, call. Okay, you can see here we've had two score this way for Marco and one score Anthony. So, democratic country, we're going to go with the two, the point will go to Marco. Okay, some of the other things we should discuss, illegal targets, I'll get Anthony to demonstrate the illegal shots. First one is shots on top of the head. You can hit like this to the head, to the sides and to the front. There's no guard on the top, so no shots above the head. The other illegal shots are any stabs to the body or to the head, of course. Okay, so they're illegal shots, which would carry the penalty over there. And that is our sword combat. See you at the intro club. Welcome to the point sparring section of the intro club training. So from here, we've got our competitors. Let's face each other, guys. All right, uh, firstly, bow to the centre referee, then bow to each other. Corner judges ready. You say yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Competitors ready. Sticks up. So again, keep this mat one metre clear. Alright, just as before. Start. Stop. Judges, call. So you notice when the judges call, the heads are down so they're not biased for anyone else. Open hand is a point, because a closed would be penalty point. Let's continue. Start. Stop. Judges, call. Again, three clear points, one each. Start. Stop. Judges, call. Okay, and that's how the scoring goes. If the person keeps going out to the back of the ring, uh, they might get stopped and you may get a penalty. Other penalties, same as the sword, no stabs. Do you demonstrate some stabs? So these are illegal shots. And on top of the head, there's no guard. So any shots there are illegal. If Sensei did that, the point would go over to the other side. Okay. All right, we're just going to talk about some of the safety features. Make sure you're wearing your fingerless mitts to protect your hands. 
drawing cards. Our mouth cards doesn't matter because you've got the head guard. But we recommend the minimum as the mitt. You can wear shin guards because we can punch and kick. The, the rules no contact to the head, touch contact to the body. So let's continue with another point. Start. This time for the demo, I've seen Anthony's trying to kick. Stop. Judges, call. So a kick that's clean gets a score. Often though, with the stick sparring, if the opponent is fast enough, they'll take that leg and score a point. Let's do a little bit more, adding some punching kicks. Thanks, guys. Start. Stop. Judges, call. Okay, so again, we've got a split decision. Kamal had a clash. Uh, we had a point that side. I had the point against the kick. You obviously scored the kick. Sometimes the referees don't see the same angle, and that's why you get discrepancy in judges. But only score what you see if you are doing the judging. Let's do one more and start. Stop. Judges call. Okay, beautiful. Clear points make it very easy to judge. Don't score stuff you don't see. Anyway, thanks, guys. Well, and that's stick sparring. A lot of fun. About demonstrate the point sparring. Now, two competitors are uh, facing off, but firstly they bow to the centre judge, and then they bow to each other, back in their stands. The centre referee will call start. They'll move around, whoever scores a punch or a kick first, stop. So Anthony just scored a punch, so that he will get the one point. Hands up, start. And move around, stop. This time Jordan scored a kick to the body, one point. So it's one all. Continue. Start. Stop. So there, Anthony got a shot to the head, so he would get one point for that. So it's 2 1. 93 heads, three points for a headshot, one point for any score anywhere. Okay. Illegal targets the knees, the groin, the throat. Turn around. Thanks, Sensei. Anywhere down the back of the head or down the spine is also a legal target. If Jordan used hit an illegal target, you would either get a penalty or the judge could score a point to the person that, that uh, received that. Again, if he threw an illegal technique, which includes elbows, knees, eye gouges, headbutts, throws, sweeps, again, the point would go to the other side. The rules are first person to five or to the timer, okay? And that is our point sparring. Now we're gonna demonstrate the continuous sparring to the point. So again, We've got our uh, two volunteers, uh, Ed and Jordan, about to spar. So again, as usual, bow to the centre ref, bow to each other, and start. So they'll move around, they'll spar. This will go for 90 seconds. They get scored on their attacks and on their defence. For the exercise, we're going to call time, stop them. 90 seconds, maybe the time has thrown the, the beanbag in and that's the end of the round. So we're going to assume the 90 seconds is finished and we're going to get our judges to do a call. So at the same time, judges call. Alright, and we've got a clear winner. One point each way to Anthony. If we swap to the film and have his hand over this side, again, the centre referee would have to overrule a choice and I'm going to go for the blue guy, of course. Alright, so Anthony would be the winner by default. Alright, and that's our continuous sparring. Just like the point sparring, same illegal targets, no shots at the... The, uh, there's no contact with the head, touch contact with the body, legal targets, shots at the knees, the groin, the throat, or if you're to turn around, no shots down the spine. No elbows, no knees, so basically just kickboxing. It's great fun, make sure you get your safety protective equipment on, and sign up, we'll see you at the next Intra Club tournament. Part of the Intra Club tournament is also combinations. This is great for beginner levels. Uh, white, yellow, orange, red belts downstairs or in the Muay Thai at the beginner levels. Combination to judge like this. We've got our four participants and I'm going to show them a combination uh, and then the judges will score out of 10 on each person. So, for example, first thing we'll do is bow in. Second thing we'll step back into our stance and we're going to do our first combination. Now, I'm going to demonstrate it. We have got one sound for here, so don't be confused. Front kick, jab, cross. Grab Okay, ready? One, two, three. Alright, back to attention stance. Now, normally this would be a set of ten sets, and we go through three or four combinations. Once we've done that, the judges will uh, official on the scores. Very similar to what we did with the forms in the cutter, scoring out of ten. Uh, if we had a big group, 
we might cull some of the people and then do a finish off. And that's our combinations competition for the Intra Club tournament. Next part of the Intra Club tournament is our forms or kata competition. Uh, basically, what happens is our participants come up and perform a kata or form, and the three judges will give a score. So, this is an example. As Marco comes up, he's going to do a nice form for us, facing the camera. From there, the judges will give a score. So let's put our scores up, guys. So I've scored a nine, Kamal's done a seven, and Carl's given it a nine. So we'll do the maths out of three, and then we have the next person get up. Let's do a new score, guys, up to you. So Ant's going to do a demonstration or a form, or it could be Qatar. Let's go scores. So again, we do the maths. Oh, four. Oh, pretty harsh, but fair. <laughs> Total score, and you can do the maths. All right. That's forms, kata, and demonstration competition. Right?